Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay guys, we have stopped here before. So I continue with this uh, exercise which we uh, have not uh, solved uh, completely or properly during our class. So let's do it together again. So for the first thing you need to do is that please uh, take out your paper. Doesn't matter is it your exercise book or a blank paper, A4 paper. So we shall proceed and perform the exercise together. So when you perform the exercise with me, hopefully that this uh, exercise will be will help you so, uh, in understanding the problem or solve the the uh, issues we we have here properly or better lah. Okay, so you can pause this slide and get yourself prepared with pen and paper. Then you can continue. Okay, I believe you have prepared your pencil your pen and your paper so let's take a look at the question again so we have here the example given semiconductor device which means that we have a uh, doesn't matter MOSFET or any transistor which comes with these uh, features it has metal tap to be attached to the heat sink okay with junction temperature mentioned here all the parameters mentioned here so what you have to do is that when you understand that this is the transistor which need to be attached to the heatsink so as you see here we have we required a heatsink find the heatsink thermal resistor means that the unit to be attached with heatsink if without heatsink so the circuit will be only one source of heat or thermal source to be attached or draw together with one single thermal resistant element these are thermal single thermal resistant element but when we have heat sink to be applied with the device so we have three element here one two three without heat sink only one but with heat sink we need to have three of the element okay so we draw the circuit the equivalent circuit, thermal equivalent circuit, which consists of these three elements. So, label the circuit first. So, what my preferred or recommended steps for you all to do is that label and draw the la and label the circuit. Okay, then uh, you label the component on it. So, this is your PD. So, it starts from the thermal or the heat that uh, generated at junction and end at ambient before it goes to ambient it will pass through junction to case then case to heat sink so T junction T case T sink T ambient so draw and label all the component so between junction to case is your r thermal jc between this is your r thermal cs this is your r thermal from heat sink to ambient so put draw put your label and you can take a look again at the Example uh, details here. It shows that, or it mentioned that your junction temperature TJ here should not exceed 80 degrees C. So you can label here 80 degrees C. What else? Dissipating. So this is your PD, 18 watts. So draw the label. Draw the diagram bigger lah, so you can put the labels here 18 watts ambient temperature 40 degrees c ambient 40 degrees c what else thermal junction junction to case tj jc junction to case here see how much 1.25 1.25 
اثنين واس تمار سيستن كيس ويسين using insulating washer and thermal conductivity compound taken at 0.5 means that between your you have your device in between your device and your your heat sink there will be this one between your case and your heat sink this is your value of thermal resistance 0 0.5 0.5 then what else So the R thermal between your heat sink to ambient is the unknown. Need to find some. You see, all the elements now, which is given already, and this is what you have to find. Okay. Then from the formula that we have discussed before, actually. If not being given, you can derive from the circuit, but for our recent uh, discussion, we provide all the formula. So just rewrite, okay? Please rewrite the formula. So we, this is the equivalent, equivalent equilibrium, equivalent equilibrium condition, junction, temperature, shall be at the equal condition whereby the PD is at, at this rate and all the elements of these values are static or steady state at this value okay if you are able to maintain all the maintain all the values here as it is so you shall maintain or stabilize your TG at that value so it shows here, if you want to set your TJ not to exceed 80 degrees C, means that all the values here should not be exceeded. Once you exceed, means that your TJ also will increase. It will exceed already. Okay. If you are able to lower down any of the component, let's say you are able to lower down your TA, ambient temperature, at the same time your TJ will be reduced. So this is your we come on here not to exceed so it means that all the values here should be not to be exceeded so again if the formula being given please rewrite okay rewrite so tj equal to pd r thermal jc plus r thermal cs plus r thermal sa plus p ambient okay once you already list down all the values, so you just can put in all the given values here. So PD is 16. 16. Atomal JC is 1.25. Atomal CS is 0 0.5. Atomal SA is unknown. So just write it first. Ambient temperature at this moment is 40 degrees C. During calculation, it is not necessary for you to put unit. It is uh, also called acceptable not to put unit or not to mention the unit. But better if you can put, so it is better. Okay. But it's not compulsory. But at the end result, it is compulsory. If you don't put unit at the end of your result, so it will minus your mark. Okay. Okay, then where is the mouse? Yeah. So you insert also the TJ, which is 80. 80. Okay. Then you can solve it first. So, or you can put at the front. So I don't need, don't need to show you how the step is, but please calculate properly. So you use the step, calculate. Then you put your R thermal here of heat sink to ambient, solve for the values. Okay, first you transfer all your 40 to together with 80. Then you minus with 16, uh, divide by 16. Then you minus with this one. Okay, so the step it just shows accordingly. 
then you get your answer of what is the value of ultimate SA, which is just now how much ultimate SA it is a 0 0.75 degree C. Okay, 0 0.75 degree C and degree C per watt. Degree C per watt. Thermal SA degree C per watt because this is resistance uh, the thermal resistance and thermal resistance rate degree C per watt same per unit of your thermal SA thermal JC is mentioned here degree C per watt so your thermal resistance of your heat sink to ambient means that the value of your heat sink value should be 0 0.75 degree C per watt okay got it okay if we take a look at uh, next uh, example so this is the example of uh, exam question uh, past few years so you need to derive what actually the components or the formula to represent this thermal circuit okay Take your pen, pencil, and paper and draw the skirt. So that's the first step. Okay, if you remember your uh, circuit, you learn from circuit analysis. Okay, if you want to analyze the current that flows into the any of the components or circuit, we just draw the circuit and try to find out actually what amount of current that flows into the circuit by comparing between the voltage drop across the skirt let's say we are looking at this part how much the current that flows into this part so just use the ohm's law which is v equal to ir or if you want to look for the current so i equal to v over r so v here is what is the difference between v in and v out here or we can label as v1 and V2 or V1 a V1 and V0 so V1 and V0 so the incoming so this is the higher potential here so the current will flow flow this way okay we have potential positive negative current will flow this way okay how much the current that go into this element is depend on the values of voltage that we measure here minus the voltage that we measure here okay so that's why we have here i equal to the difference between the voltage divided by the values of r of this element okay so it becomes i becomes v1 minus v0 divided by r okay got it then if our focus is to acknowledge or to find what is our v1 here so we just replace the v1 in front and so becomes i plus uh, i times r r up here and put over your v0 over there and v0 over there so v1 equal to i times r plus V not so some more and this one together so you take up take up R so you put V over there so it becomes V equal to V1 equal to I times R plus V not so same goes to this circuit you can see if we transfer into thermal circuit so if we want to find how much actually Tj here and you want to find how much actually the Tj Tj here how much is it so Tj is equal to Pd times R thermal Jc plus Tc so some more again get it up so all the sequence are almost the same the same right, actually and so we are looking for look out for tj here so same like v1 sequence